Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about my writing tools and must-haves. So if you're just curious as to what I use and what are my must-have tools, then stick around. If you are new here, hello, my name is Maddie Suggs and I am a writer and self-published author. And on this channel, I talk about writing and self-publishing and how to navigate it all with a positive mindset. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe before you leave. And if you like this video and you found value in it, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it does help my channel out a lot. Without further ado, let's jump into my writing tools and must-haves. So I want to preface this video by saying that in actuality, all you really need is a notebook and a pen. That is really it. That is really all you need if you really want to write. In fact, I wrote my novel, Falling For You, just like that. I wrote it first on a notebook and then I transferred it all to my computer. So if you don't have any of the things that I am about to mention, then all you need is this. So let's jump into probably the most obvious thing that most writers use, a laptop. That is a must have for me. It is my number one tool, my laptop to write. And I sometimes write on my desktop and that works perfectly fine, but I actually prefer to write everywhere else but on my desk. My desktop is usually reserved for editing and business and emails and design, all the things, but writing, I usually like to do it on my laptop. I have a Dell right now and I absolutely love it. The next tool I use is Microsoft Word. I don't have any other writing programs. Word is the only one I've ever used. Not only do I use it to write, but I also use it to format my books and I absolutely love the way they come out. I have no qualms with it. So if you have not tried formatting or using Word for your writing projects because, and everything else seems just too overwhelming, then I invite you to try Microsoft Word because I promise you, you're gonna find it so, so easy. My next writing tool or must have is the internet. As a writer, I do a lot of research, even if it's just trying to find the right word to say something or the right emotion to say something, or even if I just have to use the dictionary or just actually research a certain place or anything. Like for example, my novel, Choose Us, this is based in Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii, but I've seen enough films and watched enough travel videos and done enough research that I think I captured the Hawaiian essence perfectly. And that is because of the internet. So I would probably find it really hard to write without the internet, not only for research, but you know, when I'm looking to spell a word correctly, when I'm trying to find the meaning of a word, obviously you can get a physical dictionary, but I mean, it's 2022, we need the internet, right? <laughs> My next writing tool or must have, if you guys have been on this channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a big fan of Save the Cat. This is the best book on writing I have ever read. And although I am, I did just start reading a new book. I'll pop it up right here. And it's all about show, don't tell. And I think it's going to be a big one, just like Save the Cat. And I'm probably gonna do a series just like I did on this one. If you have not watched my Save the Cat series, I will link it below for you guys to see. I went over the 15 beats in this book. And this is a must have for me. I just started writing another book. Well, I started in November, it's a Christmas book. I did another video on how I outlined that novel using the beat. So if you did not see that video, make sure you also check it out. And yeah, this is a must, must have for me. I will reference it probably for the rest of my life as a writer. My next must have, are markers or highlighters. And this is not necessarily as I'm um, writing, but after I'm done writing, I will print out the manuscript and I will go over it with highlighters, making sure my pacing is right, seeing where I have my dialogue or too much dialogue or too much internal thought. I have actually on Instagram, I have a reel on how I do that. I'll link it here for you guys to check it out. But yeah, this is what I use to make sure my pacing is correct. I love 
using highlighters. My next must have are pens and pencils and that is because similar to the highlighter situation I do print out my manuscript and I do like to make a lot of notes so I must have pencils and pens which also brings me to my next must have right now and that is my book companion journal. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a journal I created for writers. I am using it now obviously this is for this is the one i use for enough which is the book i just published in march and then this is the one that i diy'd because i wanted it to be christmasy because i did this back in november when i started writing my novel so this is another must have because not only does it get me in the right state of mind when i read the prompts but i can also keep all my notes in one place and I don't have it to go through all my notebooks and just go searching for things that I may have lost or that I find important. Everything that's related to the book I'm writing, I keep here, including the size of the book, including character names, including their age. I just do everything in this notebook for each novel and I love it and it's a must have for me. The next three must haves are just for fun. They're not necessarily something that I'm a stickler about, but I do enjoy a candle, especially to set the mood because I love candles and I love the feeling that they give me. It's like a cozy feeling. So I always have, or most of the time I have a candle burning. My next just for fun must have is music. Usually when I am in the writing mode, I have music playing. If I'm editing, I don't edit with music, but I do like to write with music. My next must have is a beverage and that's usually a water. This thing is massive, you guys. It's so heavy when it's full, but I do get thirsty as I'm writing, so I always have a beverage with me and it is usually water because I typically, I, I'm trying to limit my coffee intake to just one in the morning and um, so by the time I'm, I sit down to write, I've already done with that coffee, so I don't usually have any more unless I go to Starbucks in the afternoon, but that's that's, you know, every now and then but not always but yeah a beverage and usually it is my water bottle all right you guys i hope you found this video entertaining and helpful in some way if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you have not done so yet leave me a comment below letting me know what is a writing tool or a must have that you have with you or that you use every single time you sit down to write that is it i will see you again in a brand new video next time until then stay safe